Hey guys, in today's video, I will show you how to build your very first AI agent using Microsoft Azure. And this AI agent is amazing because you can transform your business operations with intelligent document processing. Hi, my name is Sandeep and today we are diving into how to build your first AI agent using Azure services which include Azure AI Hub, Azure Open AI with GPT-4 model, .NET Core for the backend development and React Next.js framework for the frontend developments. And don't worry if you are new to the AI agent development using Microsoft Azure, .NET Core and Next.js. I will walk you through everything step by step from setting up your Azure projects and connecting it with your own knowledge base. And because you guys are awesome, I am giving away my source code completely free. Just click the link in the description below to download everything and follow along. By end of this video, you will have your very first AI agent up and running that is integrated with your document like invoice, timesheet, contracts and legal. So here is the quick overview of AI agent application that you guys are building today. This AI agent is game changer for operational document processing. It helps you extract the key insights from your invoice, contract, claim in just a minute with 99% of accuracy, 10x% faster processing. It supports 20 plus document type and this solution brings enterprise gate performance to your fingertip. And the best part is you can build this AI agent in just four simple steps. Whether you are working with insurance claim, purchase orders, contract or any spreadsheets, this AI agent understand and process them all. If you are ready to transform your business with AI power document processing, click here and try this agent. This is how you can ask any questions and get the insights from your uploaded documents. So this is the first AI agent that you guys are building today. In the rest of video, I will show you how to set up everything step by step. Let's go ahead and dive in. Here is the four step overview of everything we are going to be doing in the rest of tutorial. All right, let's stop talking and start building. We are going to implement all the steps one by one. First, go to the Azure portals and log into your account. Now, on the left side, you can see create a resource options. Once that is done, you can create your Azure Open AI service from here. If you cannot find it, you can simply search it here. I'm going to click on create button. After that, you can fill out all the information like resource group, region, and the name of your service. Choose the default pricing tier as standard SO. Once that is done, you can simply click on create button in order to create your first Azure OpenAI service. We have successfully created our OpenAI resource. Now it's time to deploy our first model, which is GPT-4 model. In order to do that, you can simply click on go to resource. Now you can see here with the help of Azure AI Foundry portal, we can deploy our first model, which is GPT-4 model. Let's go ahead and deploy our first model. Once you go to this particular Azure AI Foundry portals, you can see list of options in the left side. In order to deploy our first model, what you can do, you simply click on deployments and then deploy our base model. Here you can see list of, list of models. You can choose any of the models and deploy it. I am going with GPT 4.0 model. You can simply click GPT 4.0 and click on confirm here. Once you click on create resource and deploy, it started deploying your first model. We have successfully created open AI service and deploy GPT 4 model. Now it's time to design our first AI agents. In order to do that, what we can do, first we will create AI Hub with the help of Azure AI Foundry and inside that AI Hub, we will create 
multiple AI agents. So let's go ahead and create first AI hub. Now, in order to do that, you can simply click on this option. First, you need to choose resource group. Give it any name like document processing AI hub and then you can connect open AI service. So we already created one of the open AI service, which is first AI agent. Let's go ahead and connect this service with our AI. Now click on review and create button. This is how we connect our open AI service with AI. Once that is done, what we can do, we will go ahead and create multiple AI agent inside this AI. This is how we successfully created the Azure AI hub. Now it's time to create and design our first AI agent that gets the insights from your document and give us the proper information. In order to do that, you simply launch to Azure AI Foundry and inside this Azure AI Foundry, you can create multiple projects. Let's go ahead and create our first project, which is AI agent project. This is how you create your first project and under that project, we will design n number of agents. Okay, now let's go ahead and create your first AI agents and configure it. In order to do that, click on open AI management centers. After that, you can connect your AI service with GPT-4 model using this option. So let's click on new connections and connect your open AI service with GPT-4 model. So if you remember, we already created one of the open AI service with GPT-4 model. Let's go ahead and connect it in order to create your first AI agent. Once this is connections, we simply close this pop up and click on go to project. Now we are ready to create our first AI agents in just few clicks. So let's go ahead and click on agents. If you see here, you can see fast secure enterprise agents for any of the business. So once you click on this particular drop down, you can see the first AI agent V2, we already created open AI resource. We simply connect this and create our first AI agent. So this is how we created our first AI agent with GPT-4 model. Now, our first AI agent is ready with the name of Agent 749. You can see here what exactly model deploy and you can see here all the list of options. This is how we successfully deploy our first AI agents and let's see what kind of modification we can do in this setup session. So if you look into this, here we have an agent ID, agent name, so you can change the agent names and you can change the deployment also. Currently we have deployed this agent with GPT-4 model. Also, if you want to set up any kind of instructions in your agent behavior, then you can put the instructions and descriptions here. So if you look into this, I have put act as a document assistance and answer only uploaded document in this descriptions. This is how you can make the configurations. Now let's go ahead and connect our data source and let's see how this agent going to be behaved. Let me quickly show you how to connect data source and how this AI agent is game changer for document processing. It's help you to extract the key insights from the invoice contract claim in just a minute with 99% of accuracy and faster processing. Also, it support different document types. So if you look into this, we click on add and click on code interpreter. And this is how we got a different file format support where we can upload any kind of documents and ask any questions and get the insights from that particular document. So let me quickly upload the files from my local. So this is how I have two Excel files and one TXT file. So I'm uploading it here, but you can upload any of the files which is mentioned in this particular file format. This is how you connect your data source to your agent. Also, we have a different options. If you want to connect your logic app and Azure function, you can do that also. We have successfully connected our data source to this AI agents. Now, let me quickly show you how this AI agent take the Excel file as an input and give us the meaningful insight instantly. So if you look into this, we have uploaded two Excel files 
one is employee time sheets and other one is employee claim form now let's use this a playground options to test this ai agent what we will do we'll quickly ask any of the questions related to this excel files and see how this ai agent quickly give us the information in few seconds okay now if you look into this i have asked the questions can you give the list of employees whose time sheet status is draft and show me the list in table format and ai agent start searching the informations in our uploaded excel and this is how we receive the response if we want to create the chart that is also possible with this ai agent so let's ask the questions can you create a bar chart that show the employee time sheet status and count now this ai agent start searching the informations and it will quickly create the bar chart and show the information like this so if you look into this this is how we have different status in time sheet and this is how we the count we have successfully created our all the cloud services now it's time to connect all these cloud services to your knowledge base with the help of .NET Core and NetJS. Let me quickly walk you through the backend solution of AI Agent. You can download this entire source code completely free from the video description. So this is how our entire backend solution is designed for the AI Agents. So if you look into this, these are the two packages you need to install or you can directly copy paste here. After that, you can see we have agent controllers and program.cs file. Let me quickly walk you through the entire code of this program.cs and agent controllers. So if you look into this program.cs file, this is how we register the agent client with injected credentials and connection string. Let me show you how to replace these connection strings from your Azure portal setting. So first thing you have to do is go to the Azure AI Foundry and then click on AI Hub. Inside this AI Hub, we already created one of the AI agent projects. Click on that and click on Launch Studio. After that, you will redirect to this particular URL. Now, in the project details sections, you can see this is how the connection string. You can copy this connection string and replace in your program.cs file. Now, let's jump to the agent controllers and I'll quickly show you how to get the agent create a multiple threads and run the agents. Now, if you look into this particular piece of code, we are getting the agents using agent ID. Let me quickly show you how to receive or how to capture this agent ID. Again, you have to go to this Azure AI portal and click on agent. Then you will see the list of agents we have configured. So what you have to do is you can simply copy this agent ID and then paste it here. Once that is done, you, we will create a thread and add the user message. After that, we will run the agent using this particular piece of code. And finally, we will extract the agent response and return like this. This is how you can connect your agents with .NET Core API. Now it's time to test our AI agent using Swagger UI. So once we run this API solution, this is how we'll see the Swagger UI. Now we can ask any questions like this and see how our AI agent respond back to us. Now you can see here, this is how put the debugger and click on continue. Now we started executing and after a few seconds, it will give us the proper response. So if you look into this, this is how we upload the claim excel file which has date, details of particulars and total amount. And we ask the questions about date of expenses, details particulars and total amount. Now we started fetching the information from our data source. And now you can see here, this is how we receive the response from our AI agent which has all the information related to date, total amounts and details particulars. Now what we can do, we will fetch this information and bind it in our UI site with the help of React Next.js framework. Now let me quickly walk you through the entire front-end solution which we have designed using React Next.js framework. In order to run this project, what you have to do is, 
you simply run the command npm run dev and this is how our application will up on 5173 port now you can simply go to this browser and put this url and this is how our front end ai agent will up and running now you can click on try the agent now and this ai agent is ready to process the document now we will ask the same questions which we have put in swagger url in this particular chart and let's see how ai agent respond back to us so now i have asked give me the information of date of expenses detail particulars and total amount now it will connect to our back end api and give us the response back and this is how our ai agent is respond back to us we ask the questions about date of expenses details particulars and total amount and you can see here ai agent respond back to us with all the information now you are officially completed your first ai agent applications using microsoft azure services and this is how you combine all the services with open ai to build enterprise level agent applications if you like these features and want to build it yourself download the code from descriptions below and build it yourself don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more ai related tutorials and i'll see you in the next one